Welcome into the Recruiting Roundup. I'm Jordan Ham. We have a very, very busy show to get to. I'm going to bring in my good buddy, Jason Jewell. And Jason, we have five commitments to get to before we get to our offers. Let's start things off with the Quete brothers, one of the best stories in Arizona when it comes to sports. They grew up in the Congo, played uh, for the national team for rugby in Zimbabwe, make their way to Central High School, and now they're going to be playing on Saturdays. Yeah, both defensive linemen for John Clanton over there at Central High. John himself played uh, D-line at Nebraska and, and mentored these guys very well. Cosmos is a long defensive end. He pledged to Washington State on Monday night. And then his brother Eloy, a smaller, shorter defensive tackle, uh, pledged to UMass. Both of these kids know how to get after the quarterback. Watching Eloy, uh, I said, headed, headed to UMass, six foot one, 250 pounds, and one of the most disruptive players I've seen as an interior defensive lineman and uh Cosmos, a guy edge rusher you know more he's longer six foot four probably about 230 pounds uh gonna wreak havoc on some pac-12 quarterbacks let's keep it with washington state they also pick up a pledge from nasir sims over at desert edge it seems like he's been playing over there for six years the three-year contributor along this defensive line yeah, got to give a shout out to Washington State defensive line coach Jeff Phelps, who recruits out here, lands uh, two big time uh, prospects in a 24 hour period uh, with Quete and now Nasir Sims. And when we talked about, you know, disruptive interior defensive line. I mean, you got to start with Nasir Sims. He's a just a disruptive force, very, very physical guy and a great get, I think, for Washington State. Javen Wright, one of the top defensive backs in the state over at Hamilton High School, missed a good chunk of his senior year due to injury, but we saw him at cornerback. We saw him at safety over the years, and he makes his pledge to the Cornhuskers. Yeah, no surprise there that he pl pledges to Nebraska. His father, Toby, uh, was a standout player uh, for the Cornhuskers and then later on with the Rams uh, in the NFL. Now, Javen, a little bit different player, six foot three, 195 pound corner. Uh, guys like him don't end up getting smaller uh, as they get into college. So I don't know that he's going to stay uh, stay corner, stay as a corner at uh, at Nebraska. Might uh, move into a safety or maybe even an outside linebacker type role, but big physical kid that chose Nebraska over offers from UCLA and Washington among others. Castillo wide receiver Kaheem Walid burst onto the scene last year. In his final five games, he caught eight touchdown passes as they won the 3A state title. He makes his commitment to Boise State. Yeah, what a steal that uh, the Boise State Broncos are going to get. And you look at Waleed, he's a player that had multiple Power 5 offers after spring ball, including schools, you know, both in-state schools, ASU and U of A, Michigan State, among others. And, uh, you know, he's a big, long, physical uh, wide receiver. And, and again, uh, just a steal for Boise State, you know, getting the kid that had that many Power 5 offers at one time. Now, Jason, let's shift over to the offers, two Pac-12 offers for a couple of 2019 prospects. Yeah, punter kicker Austin McNamara over at Highland High School. He got an offer from UCLA. He's the top specialist in the state this year, has a, a, a huge leg. Um, one of the top kids actually in the entire nation. And, and Highland plays Liberty High School in the second round of playoffs this week. And then Kyle Patterson, uh, tight end o uh, over at Perry High School, received a Pac-12 offer from the University of Arizona. Saw him play two weeks ago, really intrigued uh, by what he brings to the table. He's got a big, long frame, six foot five, about 220 pounds. Pounds, and he's, he's already tripped to Oregon State, and now another Pac-12 school in U of A jumps in and makes an offer. It's going to be a busy class for the class of 2020, and there are four players that picked up offers, including two Chandler Wolves. Yeah, those two kids over at Chandler. The first is Gunnar Maldonado, a fantastic save. Safety, and the second is Malik Reed. He's a hybrid defensive end linebacker. Both uh, got Big Ten offers from Indiana. And then Tosh Baker, we've talked about him the last couple of weeks on the show. A big offensive tackle, Pinnacle High, High School, adds another offer from the University of Utah. And Ben Finley, busy weekend for him. Quarterback, Paradise Valley, got an offer from the U of A as well as NC State, where his brother is the starting quarterback. And wrapping up the offers, we have a trio of first offers for a couple of seniors. And these kids got some fantastic offers from some great academic institution. Ryan Dobbs, a wide receiver over at Queen Creek High School, uh, was offered by Drake, as was Zach Gray, another wide receiver at Notre Dame Prep. And then his teammate, Jake Farrell, uh, his quarterback, uh, was offered by Georgetown. Just about seven weeks before that early signing day in December. Make sure to keep it here on Sports 360 AZ for all your recruiting updates.